back with another blog on another disassemble and reassemble on the Smith and Weston 15 uh, 5x6 six, six inch, 16 inches rifle. Starting off the video, don't promote no violence, self awareness. You gotta be aware at all times. So let's get to it. Let's talk about it. Yo. So, what we got here, same thing as usual, anything else. Same products that you can use. You ain't gotta necessarily use this one, you use a lot of different other ones. Yes, that's what I use. Now, before I get into the disassemble, let's talk a little bit about the AR-15. They're slightly more tedious, and the reason I say that is because you gotta run them wet, and with that mean running wet, you gotta make sure it's always oil. Oil and clean from any access from, you know, from the cars, from, you know, when you find the rounds, more people like to say between typically anywhere four five hundred rounds. You know you probably you know you want to definitely clean it. We gonna get into uh, everything breakdown from the cam pin, the firing pin, the charging handle, from the boat, the boat, the firing boat. We gonna get to it. Let's talk about it. So it ain't really much hard breaking down no rifle, just like all the rest of the stuff. It's just as easy. And then, as you can see, in, we got, you know, all the other magazines. I'm going to move it to the side. Let me talk about these in another blog about weaponry. So, let me get to it. Um, on here, I had the scope. You know what I mean? On here, you know, I take off my, my handles. But if you're interested in doing upgrades to your weapon, as you see, I got the horizontal handle grip, which make it definitely easy, you know, firing, especially when you... Shooting in range, see, I, my, mine's adjusted at 300 yards. And if you don't know what that means, hit your football field times three. I ain't got to be close to the hitch. <laughs> but that's the product on that right there, the scope that I have on this AR. You check it out. Most of the product that I, I show you, you can get off Amazon and eBay. Or go to any gun store. And before I get to the disassemble, another important thing is about when you're cleaning and disassemble your weapon. If you take it to any gunsmith, for, they're gonna charge in typically from 40 to almost $100, depending on what they feel need to be done. And it'd be real simple. So let's get down to the disassemble. You gotta have two pins that hold the lower receiver and the upper receiver. Take them off. Now, the difference between the AK, I don't need a pen or a hammer to knock it. You just use your fingertips, you know what I'm saying? Take them out. Just slightly push. Turn it over this way. Got them got the pin removed, take the lower receiver off, and the upper receiver. So I'm gonna put that to the side for the moment. Most people don't necessarily always have to take off the other bottom pin of the receiver. You can just usually just do it halfway, but I'm just gonna give you the total breakdown. I'm gonna remove the magazine, put that to the side. Right here we have the firing pin. We got the firing pin right here. So I can just take it off for safety. Match fire. See if everything's functioning well. And right here you have the buffer. 
which you know you'll push down this pin to remove the buffer and the spring. You don't you you do not need the oil this uh most like probably a little white down. Most of the time people don't really usually take it all the way up, just showing the complete breakdown of when you're taking the lower and upper receiver. We on the lower receiver. Put it back in. This is called a buffer spring. Put that back. Where's that? So as far as cleaning. No, just like all this stuff, I said, a good brush, a little drip on the screen, a little, matter of fact, I can do this one. I like to use Q-tip. Q-tip, very helpful. See what I'm doing? I'm just putting on the screen. Nothing, nothing really. Just putting on the screen. Just make sure it's lubricated. Ain't got to really put too much on this trigger receiver. Just the spring. I know people put rid of the hammer at it. Just a slight little bit. You can rub across. Damn. That's that's probably it for the lower receiver. Let's get to the on the upper receiver. Switch place. Yes. Now. What I'm going to do now, so you can see, what we're going to take apart, flip the, the upper receiver upside down. We're going to remove the firing handle. We're going to pull the firing handle back. I mean the charging handle. Once you pull the charging handle out, the firing bolt as well come off as well. Come out. We'll take this upper receiver and put it over here. Got a lower receiver here, upper receiver there. Work on the thing. It's kind of, it's just basic simple. Now, what we have here, like you, you would need a pin for this. As far as your uh, firing, your, um, you take out this clip that holds in the firing pin, which I'm about to, which I'm about to do now. You can see this is a pin that holds in the firing pin. You can get like a, a nail or some sharp point or a bullet tip. Wedge it forward. Pull out, you know what I'm saying, the pin. Drop down. Firing pin will come out, as you tell. And then right here we have the, we have the, the firing cam pin. What this is, you just turn that. Push it in. Just like that. You'll turn it, you'll turn that, that fire pin, that fire cam pin. Push up. your cam pin, move that to the side, it should restrict them, just pull that out, which I'm not going to really clean because I already did, but I think I'll do a few little spots, oil them up, but so you can see more closer, it's your firing bolt, and when you're cleaning your firing bolt, Make sure you have your oils, and you want to stay between the groove areas. Oil that up, oil right here up, oil that up, oil that right here up. If you have a spray oil, they'll say spray in here, spray here, spray here. You don't want to put oil in here. You want to, this is your gas tool. You want to make sure you, your gas line, which will find your gas tool, make sure it's dry. 
Just a Q tip are going there real good. And just clean, just get all that excess carb out from frying your weapon. Just clean, as you can see, we got a little bit. Then inside this area, where the extractor go and the firing pin go at, the same product I told you that you use this, clean it real good. Most of the time you just soak, clean that all up. Like clean up well. You'll soak, you'll soak. Before putting the oil, I should have said before, you'll soak this, clean your products, clean any access of uh, carb that's really gunpowder. You'll soak that up. Soak this up. Soak this up. Soak this up. And then you got your charging handle. We'll talk that like what this here it tends to have wear. And you'll oil up the side, oil up here, oil up here. Y'all like, with the ARs, they got they gotta be very lubricated. I do I'm gonna do another blog explaining between the pros and cons between all these weapons and all the stuff you need to do. And then if you want to go even further more to break down on the um on the extractor. Uh, there's a pin here which you'll take that out and lick it a spring but I don't go that far I just keep it as simple as this most people don't even go this far as far as beginners anyway but definitely they have another tool that you can put hook and clean all the carbs around your strap I'm hoping I'm doing that right and then you have your gas to chain they supposed to be adjusted like these little specs supposed to be off not too close I think that post matter from out here so we just separate so what we don't took part of, we have our firing pin we got the firing pin we have the uh, the cam pin pin that holds the firing pin we had a fire bolt we had a restrictor what we're gonna do is just reassemble all the back together. And that is we disassemble it. Now we're gonna reassemble it all back together. I was gonna have your brush, like I told you, same process. You know, just clean out real good. After so usually you would I would have soaked this. If you had spray, I see more people spray, I just would have got a you know napkin. Do you like that? Clean all good, get Make sure you get all that access carb clean all in there real good, you know. Make sure you get your inside there clean all up real good. Clean your firing pan. Clean your firing cam. cam. Your extractor. Clean all the fiber death around here. You know, clean it real good. But I ain't got to do it. I already had done all that. I'm just showing you the stuff that you'll break down. Then you'll put it all back together again. So, I'm put it back together. Make sure your restrictor is facing the side. This at what you'll see. Restrictor. You also tell by your pen. It's gonna want to go one way, really. Make sure that side is facing that. Make sure this this is facing in this direction. When you put, when you reassemble this back. That back in and then you turn it you'll turn it back that way okay 
gonna go. It gonna do just like that. You see, see how it's turning. Now I'm about to put a firing pin back in. It goes this direction. Let me see it. You know when you put it in there. Put that in there. Take the clamp. Make sure you put it back in there. Make sure that lined up, which you'll see. Make sure that's in there. So what we're going to do, we're going to lube it up one more again. I'm going to lube it up. Get you a clean Q-tip. As you tell mine, slide your dirty. It's okay, though. Let's talk about it. Drop in the comments below. Make sure you put it all the way around though. So it's going to smooth, baby. Feel like butter. Every time I say that button, don't nothing go like butter. Put around the groove areas. Make sure you lube them. Your groove where they need to be lubed. Do not lube. The gas, the gas line, which would be the gas tool. See, when it's, it's a little right, everything comes smooth like butter, baby. But most people put, with a can spray, they, they spray the oil in there. And these little holes, you see. One, two. Oh, and then right here. But I, I ain't got no, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna thug it. There's oil off. Oh, I don't want, don't want too much right there. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put the back onto the upper receiver with the firing bolt. Everything been, been put back in with the restrictor, firing cam, firing pin. And then you always wanna make sure your firing, your charging handle is all we got oil on it too. So we're gonna go back with that though. Cause this tin can wear after you shoot so many rounds in. So you just wanna make sure it's all, all your stuff lubricated. Just make sure it's lubricated. Hell, right, a little right there too. Make sure it's spots. And what you'll do with the firing handle, I mean, the charging handle, is grooves. You'll put it back in, it's a groove right there. Make sure that all that's good. So you bring out just enough so you can put your firing bolt back in, which will go this way. You'll put it on the side too. No, no. Slide in here. Say every video I push it, but it had no problem. And then you get to the video, but
we got that all back in together with the upper lower fire firing bolt. For now we're gonna we're gonna reassemble the lower receiver. Upper receiver, lower receiver. Take the pins back out. But they don't come they stay in but you just Then we all oil up in between our chamber, clear. Release mag, put the mag back in. Gas cover. We had reassemble and disassemble. Disassemble and reassemble over the AR-15. I'm happy y'all been patient with me with these. The blogs on weapon usage ain't nothing went through, through butter. Pros and cons, man. I definitely be doing another wing. Um, if you ain't already subscribed, drop the comment, share, dislike, or like. You know, most point can get safety. What you think you know, you don't always know when it comes to weapons. Learn your weapon. See you in the next blog. Dedication, hard work, payoff, no love, power, grain of God.